Okay, that's actually better. We would have lost to three plus eight. We would have had to roll double ones. But, uh, this is still way better. And now, w w his minionless hand is not likely going to even just top deck one, and we'll probably just get the full 18 damage here. Yeah, goodbye. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Oh, I love this deck so much! Making content for you guys is a full-time job, and it's only possible with your support. Click the link in the description to join my Patreon for access to exclusive streams, deep fry podcasts, private video calls, and more. What's going on everybody? This is Fry. So today we are playing the beta control Tina deck. Uh, this is going to be a control deck where the win condition is really just uh, dark matter dragon fruit. This really comes after playing several versions of the wall knight deck where you had all out control with cards like doom shroom and you know spike weed sector and grave buster. The guardian class does bring a lot of control to the table. We are running a couple sham rockets in this version, so you don't have to overdo it with the Doom Shroom, which can hit several of the cards in this deck because it's clearing plants with four or more attack. Uh, but you're gonna be controlling them every turn, deciding to experiment instead of with Primal Potato Mine. I'm gonna be going Galactic Cactus, which not only does the three damage that Primal Potato Mine uh, does, but this also has potential for a big field clear. So it should be very good at uh, taking out annoying Infinity Clones or Pings or whatever it is. We got plenty of Grave Removal with the Grave uh, Busters, and then you also have 3 cost 3-3 three, three Freeze Gravestones, a pretty decent control card running Hot Date, which can not only destroy key, you know, small uh, zombies, but can also pull big zombies, biggish zombies, into Spikeweed Sector, and that will uh, do 3 plus 2, which can kill basically anything. The Pear Cub is not only a decent control card, because you put it in front of something, does 1, then it does five, so it's basically six damage over two turns. Um, th this also does, of course, combine with the Galactic Cactus in order to get a little power. It's nice having little bits of power in the deck that you don't have to completely re rely on Brainana Dragon. The reason I'm doing this with Beta Caratina is Brainana and Dragon, though, because the Wall Knight version, although it had healing and a lot of other things that this deck does not have, the one thing it was missing was Trick Removal. Uh, Forget Me Nuts is not enough. That is a tempo card. Removing one brain, uh, making tricks one brain more expensive towards the late game is not how you play Forget Me Nuts. That's more of an early game card, helping you establish tempo and uh, basically making them not have answers to you. Brain Nana, though, uh, this will it's absolutely demolish any deck that relies on teleporting in minions or late game tricks. Uh, same thing with Dragon, that not only uh, is anti trick, but it's anti everything. I mean, it's just a really, really good card. Uh, the cool thing is that, you know, the weakness of Dark Matter Dragon Food is basically just Pogo, uh, and we do have uh, plenty of, you know, answers to Gravestone, so we'll see if we're playing against Sneaky to always try to keep a Grave Buster. If we see that on turn 8, we'll be able to Grave Bust Brainana instead of going Dragon. Uh, I'm running four copies of Pop and Poppies just to give this deck much needed healing. Um, you're always going to be taking a little damage from their con men and from their, you know, early game aggression. So Bop and Poppies is a good way to not only heal, but it also fills three lanes full of these little buddies, uh, which will prevent damage that turn and help you stabilize uh, in order to keep on removing their cards. Running a few Shrinking Violets, so we'll see how much this is. This will give the deck sort of its needed field clear, so you don't have to rely just on Galactic Cactus. Really, we should be good at dealing with big and medium uh, minions, so in order to have a way of dealing with very small minions, uh, we're going Shrinking Violet. The reason I'm running Beta Caratina instead of Citron is I believe her superpowers are a little bit better at controlling. Uh, these two are actually decent early game control cards, really good at taking out that you know, key cheese cutter or uh, con man or whatever your opponent's playing in the early game. Uh, and sign root can also, again, correct a trade and shove something in a place where it doesn't want to be. The, <laughs> it's what you're, okay. Uh, the light speed seed, <laughs> the light speed seed also gets you tricks, which are often going to help you in control. Genetic amplification is useless, but who knows, maybe we'll be able to use this minion either for a little bit of power or in order to stick in front of something and play it has a control card. Let's get right into the game. Hope you guys enjoy. Broke character during the intro, but it's fine. This isn't really a character. It's my streaming energy. I'm like this in I'm like this energy in real life when I'm excited about something, and I guess I'm excited about streaming, you know? Uh, let's do eight games today. If you think we are gonna win six out of eight, I have faith in this deck. Six out of eight, guys. I think we're gonna win six out of eight, vote yes, five out of eight to no over here the live stream. Twitch.tv forward slash fry up. 
50% chance of getting a superpower. I don't think we mulligan this. It's pretty good. And we'll keep one of the healing cards. Since Boogaloo can do damage. Here we go. We need a leap. We yes, need a see leap. Whoa, whoa. Do what? Thank you, Doomblay. Welcome to the Frymily. <laughs> it says Crimpton LZ is on a watch streak, being here for 25 straight streams. I thought you missed the stream the other day, though. It's BS. Um, we prevent it. I think it's just going to be a hot date like this. And we'll be able to spike weed sector and... Maybe use the insign insign up room. We'll see if the opponent's gonna go for an environment on turn three. Obviously, I have to play around the area. In which case, I'll probably just drag it back with with the up room. I'm gonna call this tractor beam insign. What does this word even mean? Insign? Am I even saying that correctly? What does that word mean? We barely ever use beta caratina. A flag or standard, especially a military or naval one, indicating nationality. Ensign. Ensign. It's not even in sign. It's ensign, guys. A commissioned officer of the lowest rank of the U.S. Navy. It's probably the commissioned officer. So it's... And I don't get it. I'm calling it tractor beam. This guy... This guy decided to be a meme. That's what this guy did. I think it's gonna be like this. I don't think there's. I don't think he's running trapper territory in a pet rush deck. What do you guys think? <laughs> High lucky streak. No! That is too much damage. Duda. Maybe we'll get Lieutenant Caratron on the block. Well, at least... Blo oh, we, okay, we blocked before. I'll take it. I uh, guess we spam that, see what we can get. Come on, Berry Blast. I don't know. Come on, Taco. Got a little removal. These technically are control cards. We don't have a... Unfortunately, our curve is too high. I really wish we had gotten something a little cheaper there. This, this is, uh, I don't like this ninja. I don't like it one bit. Should I just lawnmower? <laughs> I don't know what to do here. This looks like it's going to be good eventually, but I don't know. Honestly, I'm just going to lawn here. I, I, the reason I'm using the more expensive ones so the cheaper update, this is going to be more useful later so we can play two cards. The problem this turn is we can only play one card. Look, guys, I get how the beta caratina, I get how it's a military thing, but... So Ensign uproots? What is the uproot? It doesn't make sense in the... Is that his name? Oh, it's Ensign Uproot. The, his last name is supposed to be... Oh, okay, now I get it. I'm stupid. And mm -hmm. saying that good. I, I guess it's like this. Ugh, we'll block the three. I just feel like we're taking too much damage. But that's about as good of a... About as good of a shrinking violet as you can get. Pretty good. We'll, we'll hopefully just be sitting on nine health here. He gets the Yeti back, but... And we have some healing in hand. We have some healing right around the corner. The the, the block meter kind of makes this good, because we take the one and then block the three. That works great. Uh, we'll definitely spam that, so we have another two drop, just to combine with Doom Shroom. Rotobega, I, I was thinking running in this deck. I'm pretty sure Hot Date is better, because it's not as easily answered if they remove the... Uh, they can remove Rotobega. can't really remove Hot Date. It still explodes. But uh, I think 2 cost 3 to Rotobega is a really good card in general. Decent control card. Let's see what happens here. 
see a I feel like we're just gonna see the wow, Tomb Shroom actually isn't that bad here. I feel like we're just gonna see Area 22. Let's Doom Shroom this. This is as good of a Doom Shroom as we're gonna we're gonna get. It also might make that the Area 22, but yeah, well this can't go into the lane where something's dying. He'll probably area in four. We can maybe manipulate that into wow. He doesn't go for the damage, he goes for the spike weed sector. That is amazing. Why? It doesn't make sense to me. So now, what is our play here? We have two, two, three. That could be an option, actually, against the swarm deck. We have just six, which heals us a lot, which we need. It really depends how big of a play he makes here. We could hot date. We could hot date lane three to lane two. Bring this here and then play the Rotovega. No, we can't do that. <laughs> There's no way to catch these in a Doom Shroom, and unfortunately, the Pop and Poppies just doesn't do enough here. But it went down to one, or to use their superpower, so. We might be able to leverage that in our favor. I just feel like if the opponent has a bungee plumber, they're going to win this turn if we do 3-2-3, three, three, basically. If we heal, we're going to be taking 8. We'll be up to 12, take 8. Honestly, I think the play is heal because this is the, the, the this is the play the opponent can't really answer. This Getty also bounces off the board. The heal is really clutch here. He went for six, man. And blocking four damage. It's pretty good. We're down to four again, but we got the full block meter. Opponent kind of has a pretty crappy board. that if the opponent plays yeti here i guess we'll doom shroom we can doom shroom into something which is cool the doom shroom really gets good against the zookeeper i don't think it's dragon i don't think it's dragon so it's doom shroom i guess hot date uh, actually, Doom Shroom Cool Bean. He's well. Wonder if he's running any gravestones. This takes a lot of cards off the board. Is there any reason to play a card before this? No. Because I think we're gonna actually hot date here instead of the Cool Bean, just so we'll be able to slow down gravestones later. Um, we have another hot date to pull things out of Area Twenty Two, which is fine. We also just want to be able to play around like Bungie Bungie or something like that. It's okay. Would love to see another environment here. I gotta develop this dragon as soon as we can just get stable, you know? The the little one drop we just drew is a big freaking deal. Now I have to not mess this up in terms of Is there a way to kill this for free here? I could just drag in as a three for one. It's not terrible. Is there another way to, to, to deal with this? It's weird. Dragon's like our win condition, but I, I think this is fine though. Because the opponent's not going to be able to respond with a trick. This doesn't mess anything up. And really, the opponent's now down to one card, and I, I want to preserve our block. I'll take the one splash. I want to preserve our full block meter, and then we'll be able to pop in poppies. And the opponent's gonna... It, it's just gonna be tough for the opponent to, to get enough with just a couple cards here, you know? So, we're sacking Dragon into Bronto. I think that's okay. <sighs> here we go. It's another Bronto. 
We have to find a way of killing this eventually. I see hot date bringing it here. We could just bounce it and make him play it again, but this will be five, six, seven. Hot date, Rotobega here. Five, eleven. We can do that next turn. There's not a lot that actually goes wrong with this play. I think I'm going to do this and not heal. The opponent is not going to block. This has team up, I forgot. I'm just spamming this for a little damage. Oh, okay. It's okay. He's not, he's not proccing our block here. Uh, we can deal three damage with the Galacta. We'll see if that works. It's nice to be able to kill that. This Great Buster is probably dead. Wow, he's top decking Mondo after Mondo. It's so annoying. Uh, we are able to, again, have an, a little bit of an answer here. Which is going to be you, Galacta. Do I spam this now in the turn that all the pop and poppies, the little, little buddies are going to die? I don't know. He's going to go face. We're down to two here. I wonder how far against his face I have to start, like, plugging. You know? Th these b these aren't going to block Area 22. Uh -huh. How do I deal with this next turn, though, is the question. I don't. I really don't. I'm going to go with my gut, which is that these little buddies are not going to be in play. It's not going to matter because he has Frenzy. So I'm going to take the healing now, and hopefully we get something good. Thank you. Try hard, 59 months. Not only an awesome streamer, but one of the longest standing supporters of my channel. Thank you so, so much, Mr. Tryhard. Some more heals. Uh, we got six more health in our hands, so that's fun. I'd love if we can get one of these cards with the gravestone. Ugh. But he's just going to spam Mondo here, obviously. Um, this this really does put pressure. The the dog will hunt over to lane four. It'll be a four four, but we gotta take every you know. So we gotta take every point of damage we can do to his face. This goes. This grows. So it does eight, but it's still just proccing the block. I think we're okay here. Our last superpower, man. I wish I could get that light seed back. I guess it helps us stall. It's really interesting because we have we're, we're using some of our other weird cards in order to get win conditions. There's lightning. Decides not to go face. I guess he feels the pressure. So here's this now. This does give us another card. I think I'm gonna do it. I think I'm gonna do it like this. It just takes care of the dog over the course of two turns here. Oh my gosh, this is actually one of the best cards we could have gotten in PvZ Heroes. Are you kidding me? It's a giant monster that makes another card. I mean, it's an answer to the 8-4. Uh, we got Brainana, too. Look at these top decks. I mean, this is incredible. Actually incredible. Do I go face here? Oh, I just go double face for the win. And that's it. <laughs> I was thinking of blocking, but we don't have to. We have got Grey Buster. Great. Nothing's going to hunt me here. It's game. Got him. <laughs> he has no cards. The Brainana Drain tech <laughs> For extra credit, guys. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I mean, he had eight health. We needed at least four damage from that, from a root, man. I don't know how many roots do four damage. You have Carrot, you have Potato Saurus, and Soul Patch. That's basically it. It's probably one more. That was a great conjure. Yes! <laughs> that was a game? That was tense! Should that be a highlight match? That was tense. Whoa! Oh, sheesh! Well, we're off to a great start.
I, I, you know, maybe the deck needs walnut bowling. It, it's, it's, it's kind of missing it. Just like as a two of. We don't have a ton of win condition in the deck, you know? And I'd like to keep on mulliganing just for all our early game. We get a guy, that's fine. Please no con man so I can actually play this, thank you. That was, that was quite the match. I think that's going in, the, I think that's a highlight match. So it's always game one. Unfortunately, <laughs> I feel like game one is the one that people watch the most in the VOD, and then eventually, you know what I mean? People don't get to the end. I wish it was game 10 that was the highlight match, but it's all good. So, opponent does nothing. I wonder if we uh, try to apply some pressure now. It's probably going to be running a lot of Gargs and stuff. Probably not a lot of Gravestones, though. Let's get the pressure going, you know? It's not a cheap card for him to remove. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Chrysler. Oh. Not a terrible card. Three health against Z-Mech. Are we the aggressors now? Does this deck play as a as a mid-range? Just a tempo, tempo mid-range deck? If the guy passes a hundred times. Here's a gravestone. We're like, hey, he's not gonna hurt it. I have no idea what's in here. What is this card? It must be like Fossil Head. Something stupid like that. I could just apply more aggression here. It's Sumo. Okay. We are sticking true to our name and controlling opponents. Sides to drop the Lightning Bolt. Decides to commit it. Another Gravestone? It's okay. Uh, we don't have a great answer to that, do we? <laughs> Look how useful this is, Bonnie. <laughs> -na 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 -na. Honestly, I could always... I, I, I would like it to be in the middle lanes, because then it opens up Shrinking Violet. I'm just going to do this. Screw it. He has to deal with this card, which is growing and strike through and... Hey, <laughs> uh, he's trying to mill us. Okay. <laughs> Remember that match against Tri? Remember our tournament match, Tryhard? <laughs> Similar scenario. Bruh. I guess that's just Shamrocket. It's not a bad Shamrocket. We still have a squash. I think we're good here, man. We're kind of dominating this guy, I'm not going to lie. We and you can give us block meter charge, it's fine. Raya! Thank you, Steel Fist. I wasn't paying attention. Yes, I did. I need to send a new deck. Bruh! Well, we'll hot date that. We're doing okay here. Uh, we're drawing all of our gravestones, just all of them. Wow, look at this man. Look at this play. He got kitchen sink. And it don't matter. Get over here. Saddest healthy treat in the history of Uzi here. <laughs> Die! Yes. Uh did I put this here? I probably should have thought more about the little buddies. Or the What's it called? The seedlings. I don't have good seedlings now. I do have Brainana, however. I feel like Brainana is gonna... Man, I kinda wish I had a dragon right now. Kind of wish I had a dragon right now. That is probably all he's doing. I think I'm just gonna actually pop the five down. Well... Actually, let's... Let's control this. He'll get an egg. Yeah, this is fine. That was a three drop, right? All right. We'll take one seedling. It's as much as we're going to get from this. From this dude. Come on, bring it. In. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on, we calling it. Uh, egg and two. <laughs> seedling. Seedling is safe. Yours turns into a one or a two. Mine turns into a one, two, three, four, five, or six. Let's. Oh my gosh, this middle lane's. That 
Not great. We have a shrinking violet coming up. Pretty good. Honestly, it wins the trade in lane two and we'll stick something on it. <sighs> it's not what we want to see. Ugh. 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 Watch me gonna do. Did it da 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 Oh, we have this play. Oh, well, that's fun. Baby, I'm through. You da 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 da. You da da da. Na da 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 da. Honestly, this is pretty good. I didn't mess something up here, did I? That's a 6 8. That's actually really good stats in Dezima. <laughs> Put Hot Date in the pumpkin. Now! It keeps our 3 3 alive, which kills, makes another splash and kills that, uh. that gas giant next turn. Okay. <laughs> Guess that makes sense. But we're on, we're sitting on 20 health. We're doing pretty good here. It, it feels like we need a little bit more win condition. Like Brainana's Brainana's good, but I mean not against Zemek. <laughs> De da da da. De da 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 da. Honestly, we probably just ignore this at the po at this point. Oh my gosh, that was so huge. So we can get... Uh, maybe just six and two? He still has three brains left, so I guess we'll bring Nana here. How about six? It doesn't really matter where we do this, right? And we'll kill this card. Also, again, doesn't matter where. So that should be lethal. It prevents him from playing his extra three brains, so that's a decent brain, Anna. Yes, it's guaranteed. Got him! Woo! <laughs> Two slow games. I'm gonna see what I can do about fitting a couple of, um, of walnut bull- like, two walnut bullings, I think, would give this deck enough late game. It, it's kind of funny, because we're relying very heavily on a lot of, like, our medium to, you know, the late game cards do a lot of the damage. Like, we could probably cut one of these, even though it, it's kind of good. It, it did save us that one game, but Walnut Bowling is better. And then... Uh, we haven't faced a deck with a lot of early game threats. I'm going to regret removing the early game, though, if I... It turned out everything just... Everything was so good there. <laughs> I could remove one of the hot dates, I guess. Since we have all these like early game control and... I don't have a ton of ones and twos though. I wonder if that's a mistake. Shrinking Violet will be good at some point, but maybe running it as a two of in this is kind of better since it's a control deck where we're trying to take off early game threats anyway. This is probably correct. Uh, we do have a four line deck, but it's a it's a control deck with a lot of variety of answers. So let's do it like that, I suppose. The sad four-line deck. <laughs> That's illegal. That's nah, all good. Dee da da da. Dee da 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 da. Dee da da da. Dee da da da. Dee da da da. All right. Here's the new deck list. What are the bets? I wonder how much you guys believed in this. 51 to 49 on the 6 and out of 8. So far we're doing well. Again, this deck could implode. This is the matchup we're looking for. This is the deck that killed the Wall Knight. It's just a Morticia. I don't know what deck it is, but... 
Dragons are so good. Is Grave Buster worth it? It's good at taking out teleportation zombie. Uh, as tempting as it is to keep dragon, keeping that is probably no good. Run fewer brain annas. I'm reluctant, man. And this does give us a turn two play. I didn't realize we have twos if we get that superpower. Oh, this is a really, really good card against Immortitia, who cannot deal with a 1-4. I mean, I don't know what she's going to even do about this. This is really good. This is going to be... It's going to give her a lot of block meter charge. Oh, this can go... <laughs> Never mind, we're putting in the water. Screw it. We can also protect this with the uh, pair. But this is just going to give us infinite banana bombs now. That's such a cool card to get from beta, super. Do 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 do. Do do da da da. It's okay. To the opponent, I, I'm 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 kind of tempted to spam one of these here, <laughs> just to protect our assets. It also just makes it do two damage per turn. You know what? Just the fact of doing two instead of one every turn, I think, is a good thing. I'm just playing around like bats, bonus attack, something like that. This this banana launcher is basically going to be alive for the rest of the game. It's double protected right now. This is so cool, getting infinite banana bombs, man. Infinite banana bomb glitch. Uh, we don't really need protection here, so let's... Let's actually be smart about our lanes and have basically these two lanes open for the Puffin Puppies. It's so weird that we're playing control, but we seem to always be the aggressors. Honestly, he could have been going for the bats now. Do you have the bonus attack? Uh, no, it's fine. It was That was the play. They were literally going to do bat snibble had I not played the, the Perico there. That's awesome. Hell yeah. Thank you, Yellow Mellow, for your kind words. Yes. You guys are so... We got such a nice... Yes, and we got Dragon. And... <laughs> banana Pops. I think we're kind of good to go. Should I spam this so we're not milled? I, I probably do want to keep drawing, especially like for... This will make... Well... Ah, uh, spamming into Immortitia's block. Immortitia's superpowers are all like control, though. It doesn't really matter. I I sort of want to draw a Brainana, though, so I'm going to do this. So, <laughs> the moment we get a Galactic Cactus, it'll, it'll explode and, and put a lot of damage on the board. These cards are, I, I just realized, are also immune to Teleport Zombot. You know, we end up with, like, 10 damage on the board, which is kind of cool. I mean, they're not going to be able to Teleport Zombot. We have Dragon, so... We have so many banana bombs, Duda. <laughs> I want to keep drawing. <laughs> what do I do? I play this too? <laughs> the opponent actually could do the Zombot next turn. Am I stupid? Okay, good. Good luck, Zombot. <laughs> What's it going to be? It's the Pear Cub Army. <laughs> I don't know what this is. This is this is ridiculous. And uh well. Oh, could you just play Zombot dry? <laughs> I don't get it. What is it going to be? <laughs> I I feel like I want to play this a little bit more precise. I mean, what do we what is he going to play here? The dragon still has room in lane one now. I guess this is fine. Well, he's going for teleport Zomba, but he's not going to be able to do it. He could teleport in teleportation zombie, which will ruin next turn. He's going for this play. He might have a mechasaur too. We'll see what he's running now. Garg launcher. Garg. So we have the sham rockets. We also just have... <laughs> ping, <laughs> ping. I mean, we also just have Dragon. Can the Dragon get rocketed? This will be turn 10, so... 10 and yeah, he'll be able to... Ro 
Wow, he's actually setting up the Zombot by playing Acid Rain. Kind of smart. It's not going to happen, but... This also protects the dragon now in lane one, which is kind of cool. So the plays are either Shamrocket, Shamrocket, Galactic Cactus, and then we get Teleport Zombot and we die. So I guess it's just dragon. What the hell? No, 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 no. I mean, it can't be Teleport Zombot. This can just get, like... He's probably teleporting in something, though. No, this guard gets launched. We'll get three. Is this Dragon? Honestly, if he has a rocket, he'll have too much to do this turn anyway. This is fine. So he'll get Egg here, which dies for free, and then Deep Sea Garg. If he doesn't have exactly rocket science, or I guess alien is. Uh, that's a creative way of killing dragon. It wasn't really, though. You just trade that for a little bite. The dragon's still like a... I mean, it's not really a two for one. It's kind of like a two for three, because he gets two cards, but it's okay. I hope that wasn't stupid. We can shamrocket that now and open up a bunch of damage in lane five. I'm... Pretty sure this is okay. See, right now, the, the teleport Zombot actually just kills us. Can we, like, top deck a Dragon or a Brain Anna or a Walnut Bowling, please? Hallelujah! Get wrecked! Oh, no! Oh, nice Zombot, bro! Nice! <laughs> oh, that was amazing! That was one of the nuttiest freaking matches I've ever played. That was just complete chaos from beginning to end, and it ended with the top deck madness, automatic lethal. Yes! I guess that's a highlight match. <laughs> it has to be. It has to be. I don't have a choice. Bruh. That was crazy. And uh, we're three and a... Deck's doing pretty well. Uh, I think the addition of the two walnut bowlings is really... We, we need more like him and that, that that was perfect. The walnut bowlings are really good. I <laughs> just nutted all over. <laughs> that is true. So again, we have to stay disciplined and not keep dragging in our starting hands. This is a fine starting hand, though. We got environments. We got early game removal. Kind of got... Let's see what tricks we get. I, I kind of like the super bat. I don't think it's good, because I'd rather draw cards in my deck, but it kind of gives you random bogus. Like, this could very well end up being our win condition. We'll do 5 and then 15. Just with the... Dude. So that is going to be either Tele Zombie... Drone Engineer or a Pirate. This is always good. And it does set up the pair 99% of the time. It's going to be a one attack guy. It's about Teleportation Zombie about with Huge Gigantios. With other heroes, it will be different. But even with Super Brains, it'll be different. But it's basically Teleportation Zombie 90%, Drone Engineer 5, and then like Swashbuckler 3, and Monkey Pirate 2. Essentially. So that's a really good pair. And if he can't answer the pair, we'll, we're going to win. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't smoke bomb. That was pretty evil. Uh, he does commit the environment, so I'll gain one teleport, but fortunately, we do have a pretty decent answer in hand. Me thinks we're going to... This is, this is high value here, and then we'll have five, six... Is there some way to make him explode this? 
I, I like this is about as good of a shrinking I think as we're gonna get and we'll do this next turn Thinking cat. Wow. So he actually had a d good non-teleportation zombie play there. This is very sad. I thought we were going to pull this off. Good big removal. That's what we're looking for. This answers a lot of things in here. Including another teleportation zombie. Where did he get? He got that. He got HG Super from Thinking Cab. So by environment, <laughs> the uh, and he got telepathy. Honestly, good. He gets telepathy there. Wait, he played a gravestone. He's opening up the damage for us. What's that about? I guess he doesn't like taking the bullseye. But we're gonna do fire. I don't get it. In fact, this brain Anna is stupid. Right now, this costs two. This Brainana is cracked because it opens up all the damage here and we're set up, I mean, we're a turn away from the Espresso. Kills this. It's probably just a teleport. Day. Okay, it's Trick or Treater, which dies for free. Oh, okay. But he can't play the trick. So it does die. He gains the, okay. <laughs> he burns the teleport and changes it for a tree. Congratulations. So our guy lives, clogs the lane. We get zero to face. I think we're doing pretty good here, guys. I think this espresso is gonna is gonna finish this game. I have a good feeling about this. We have big removal, small removal, just chump blocking potential. I don't have an answer to you. Actually, we do have an answer to you. Oh no! Well, the hot day. Uh. I mean, that kind of works. It's going to be you. And then we... I don't even have to do this anymore. This thing is so freaking useless. <laughs> I don't... I wonder if we hot date this here. Or I don't know. How do we do this? Bring this here, I'll do one, and get a random imp. Oh, I guess this is okay. It keeps our 3-1 alive, so we're potentially getting 8 damage on 12. Which is kind of cool. Oh, I forgot he got a, a treat. So, making the cowboy, yeah, he's not able to buff cowboy with said treat. Okay. Oh, come on. <laughs> he has... This is huge giganticus. He's played two terraformers so far. Look, conjure from terraformer. Terraformer conjures two copies of the card apparently. I don't know what game this is. Wow, everything's deadly too. Jeez. Ow. Ow. How am I going to win now? <laughs> I got dragon. I'm good, man. Somehow this is just an imp deck. Is he running all these? This is actually just tele-imps. He's running all these cards. You see and uh, Whoa. What do I do here? Dragon this turn, espresso next turn. Is he just, just his pogo now? I don't think it's a pogo. I think it's going to be something garbage into we will... Espresso his ass to the Ice Age next turn. I'm putting in this lane to save time. <laughs> or else I get sucked twice. Oh, the other answer to Dragon. It's called Teleportation Zombie. But he can't play a trick. So it's got even just a mate. We're on 16 health. I think we're good here. Good. You'll draw cards. I don't care. You can't play any tricks. Espresso's gonna win here, guys. I don't think there's a, a card in the game that prevents Espresso from, well, oh no, it's not doing as much damage. Oh, it's only doing 10. Whoops. You're dead. Oh. Well, that's cool. If he passes. Ugh.
，真系黄啊啲。No, we espresso now and we'll walnut next turn. It's gotta be right. La 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 la. It's a good of an espresso as we're gonna get. Oh, actually, it's probably lethal here because we're still attacking. So we hit him twice, and the so we're hitting him four times with dragon in one turn. Remember that time I was playing Beta Caratina and I hit him four times with dragon in one turn for the win. Remember that? <laughs> hey, we got an environment. This is awesome. Yeah, got him. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Every game's a highlight when you play Control Beta Cure. This deck is dominating. It, we've played like Teleport and Morticia. We played Tell Imps. What else did we play? We haven't faced an aggro deck yet. I think we have all the tools we need to deal with aggro, though. Maybe we'll see a more. We did play a pretty aggressive, like, like Secret Swimmer. What was it, though? Was that Z-Mac? I don't know what that deck was. He actually passed the first three turns, so it's not really fair to call it aggro. It's a fine hand. I'll hold on to Doom Shroom now that we've got some early game cards. Just to... Everything that Smash wants to do in the late game is going to die to Doom Shroom, basically. And we get Water Balloons. We always have to get Water Balloons. That's the rule. And then here's an interesting card. But if we can develop a board, this will... <laughs> I don't know why we're always the one developing the board, but... But anyway... This is interesting. I think I'm gonna do this in, like, lane one. And then spam... Good old Pear Cub. I love Pear Cub. He does have the Rolling Stone. It's okay. It means the Water Balloons kills the 2-2 two -two Night Stone. I didn't think about what if he has mascot. I guess we never have an answer to that, right? I guess I'll. You see, I know. So we have so many answers to the sumo. I guess it's just cool bean. It's it's fine. It prevents this from attacking, and then it trades with the arm wrestler. I think that's okay. One for one, prevent two damage. That's all right. Really? Okay, that we're gonna have to water balloon now. I'm happy we have the answer to that. Maybe we'll see another sumo. Ow. Honestly, his superpower is gone now. Okay. Now if we see the sumo, I guess I'll grave bust it. I wonder if I should be saving these though. This is a fine play. You see hello. I'll bring this up in case his area twenty two is, is the reason he passed with four brains. It basically a hundred percent of the time is, so that plays her in area twenty two. <laughs> Get red! <laughs> yes! <laughs> We don't have well we have Doom Shroom. Yeah, we have multiple Doom Shrooms. Spam the biggest freaking piece of garbage you can. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Second Doom Shroom intensifies. We're just trying to stall this game. This is gonna be a problem until if, unless we get one of our environments. I'm, I'm seeing. Oh, we got the anti Area 22 card. Uh, we got. <laughs> got even better. Yeah, bye. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> bye, Sumo. I think this guy's mad. I would be mad if I was him. We kind of have every answer. He doesn't. Oh, 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 the clutch. So we gotta just do one damage and one, exactly one. We don't wanna do two damage. We don't want to hit him twice, because then he blocks the walnut bowling about 100% of the time. Going viral would suck. Why is this here and not here? That's the real question. I'm really scared to, to play into going viral here. Why is this here? He really has nothing to play into Area 22 to copy this. Is he going to Secret Agent this card? 
What is happening, guys? Five. It's probably going viral, right? Why is he not playing it here? I'm gonna pass because the going viral is mega sus. This is a little bit next level making that, with three cards in hand, making that read. He didn't have going viral, okay well. I can get it next turn. He's just... Has no minions and is desperate for damage, I guess that's the story. What's that? That's a 3-3, three, three, so it dies to the... Cheese! So, 3-3-2 three, three, looks awesome. Uh, I guess this goes on the ground. And this goes on heights to play around an extra area 22. Get over here. Yeah, but this walnut bowling hits pretty hard here. Sports deck with no sports cards. <laughs> what is in his hand right now? See, he was thinking of that last turn. Okay. Well, that's... Uh, the Doom Shroom's less good now. We're still safe. We're on 11 health and a pretty full block meter, so... So that guy will... is a 3-3. Three, three. He'll be up to 5. and ugh. It's a lot. It's a lot when he plays it here. It's 8-8. Eight, eight. Dude! <laughs> this explodes. Damn, that was rough. This is probably a sumo. It's 100% of a sumo. A trillion percent of the time. We're losing this trade. I think because of the situation we're in, we're just going to Doom Shroom here. Walnut Bowling. Let's get this straight. Walnut Bowling does 12 here. And we take 8. Now nah, we're taking more. We're taking 11. No, no, we have to Doom Shroom. Brainless Doom Shroom. This really negated all the stats uh, put on this from that secret agent, so I think we're good. Should I should I cycle this for a card? See, this is a sumo, so this card doesn't do anything here. I think I'm cycling this for a different card, though. I don't think we need Strike Through. <laughs> okay, that's actually better. We would have lost to 3 plus 8. We would have had to roll double ones. But I, I, this is still way better. And now... His minionless hand is not likely going to even just top deck one, and we'll probably just get the full 18 damage here. Yeah, goodbye. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> oh, I love this deck so much. Oh, man. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's the highlight intro. Oh, yes. Okay, Doomer. Damn, man. This deck has actually been performing incredible. I don't think these have just been good matchups. We've faced every type, secret swimmer, sports, pet. We did face an aggro that I forgot. Our first match was against a really aggressive pet deck, and we destroyed him. It took a little while to stabilize, but we got it, and we had all the heals, man. Hell yeah. How do we mulligan into... I just... We don't have answers to, like, teacher and paparazzi and stuff. I think I'm gonna just keep looking for answers. This is okay for teleportation zombie. All right, I, I, I guess this hand's alright. <sighs> he just ran out of steam, which is exactly what you want to do with control decks. Well, I'm not running Great Flick. I'm running Great Buster. Just... Get that gravestone out of there, you know? I'm not running any bounce naturally in this deck. Even though bounce is, you know, you can run jumping bean. I don't, I don't think it's right. We have answers, they don't. That's how this works. So the opponent passes two turns. I, I, I'm a little afraid of Tricksterazzi because tricksters and, and teacher and stuff coming in. This, we have the shrinking violet in our hands, so if the opponent does not pull the trigger. Should be okay here. I think this is a decent answer. Because the 4-5 trades really well here. 
We also might get that involved in a Shrinking Violet next turn if he plays into it. No, 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 no. More answers? I'll take more answers. You see, you know. There's something of Tractor Beam into Shrinking Violet, but. <laughs> Is this a good shrinking? You can't really do much to get a healthy treat, I guess. I think we're just going to take this off the board. It's probably going to be rocket science, and I'd rather him not be drawing. I probably would rather neither of us be drawing cards. Him, Us running out of steam means we win, because we have more like it. That's fine, and you know what? Net, net value of that shrinking violet is that we have a 5-4 instead of 5-2, and we get a fourth of his health just gone. So I'm pretty sure that's worth it. See, this is going to be the, the real sh second Shrinking Violet is going to be the play here. Watch this. Even if he plays into it, I'll, I'll hit him with the G's. <laughs> yeah, we're doing it. It's happening. Uh, let's actually make room for the Poppin' Poppies. So you is going here. And we are getting you getting all that cheese off the board. That's not bad. It's kind of a... Did this one come from the other? It doesn't say if they're dying, but... Honestly, all three of those could have been one card, but <laughs> you might have gotten middle manager from middle. He probably didn't. It probably was two middle managers, and he drew an extra card. It's okay. It's a one for one at the end of the day, since he drew two. Honestly, we're, look at how we just have answers every freaking turn. I think this is going to be the bigger one. We we have two. Oh, we have. Look at this play. Great Buster. The big one, please. Trash. We're just going face here. You know what? Let's just exploit this guy. Yes! I, I don't know, man. I don't think two brains is going to cut it here. We have like 12, 13 damage on his face if you count the explosion. I know he's going to block, but the two usually, usually procs it. Deadly. Great. <laughs> Perfect superpower for you. <laughs> you, need, you gotta... No! <laughs> Never mind. Okay, that was actually decent. So I'll go lane one. Oh, and that's good. You know, every time we've tried to do Galacta Pear Cub, he's always had like a smoke bomb or a super brain super or something dumb like that. Come on, man. Okay. Okay, man, it's got Rockwell. We already used two shrinking violets. I'm a little scared. You see, you know. Honestly, he's so low in health now. I, I we're 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 fine. Let's see what he can do with seven brains here. Bad Moon Rising, probably. Zomba. Honestly, if he gets Zomba, we still win. Okay. Nice weed spray. We still have lethal. We have double lethal. So he's got four brains to deal with a 4-3 and a 5-4. <laughs> nice weed spray. That was cute. Don't have rocket. Don't have rocket. Wow. We... <laughs> Remember that time I said that we have all the answers? That was... How did he get out of that turn alive? That was actually a miracle. Wow. Good for you. Giga Chad. Teacher? Oh, man. I don't know. like this we're playing around double going viral kind of sort of up to 20 health again we need to put some some damage on this guy's face if he double going virals the doomstream will basically just win next turn yeah we're fine come on one more honestly yeah, yeah, yeah. one more do it your, your teacher will live <laughs> god damn it uh, this goes face. For three, who cares? Seattle. Uh, that gives us an amphibious minion. That's gonna be probably difficult for him to deal with. That's okay. Cool beans. We're in 17 health, but I'm terrified. I feel like the tricksters are coming. Uh, 
Okay. Let's go in. This always goes here. Should I commit the pair cub to face here? It plays around uh, Flick, which is basically one of the only guys I guess you can have a sumo. I'm feeling pretty safe in this lane. I don't think two damage is going to make the difference here. I'm pretty sure it's like this. To play around, we're playing around knockout. So if he knockouts in three, in five, we still win. Which is basically his only way of dealing with a three three. He could have terrify. <laughs> he's gonna have terrify too. This guy has had every answer, and he's gonna have terrify here. Watch this. Uh oh. Well, this also plays around Zombot. It doesn't play around Undying Pharaoh. My dumbass decided that the Spike Weed Sector would make no difference here. He actually should have protected his Undying Pharaoh. That was dumb. He could have actually killed this. So he gets Soldier Boy on Heights, Shark. I mean, this Doom Shroom's gonna hit pretty hard. So the Doom Shroom's fine. We still have 14 health. <laughs> Meep. Can we get like a minion to play together with Doom Shroom here? No. Play another big card. Okay. Uh, <laughs> he's on a one-turn clock here. Little Pear Cub's gonna win the it's gonna be, win the day here. Come on, Pear Cub, keep poking his ass. You can do it. Uh, most useless cryo brain in the history of PBZ Heroes. He'll never use that brain. And the man's got leftovers. He's going for. He's making another Doom Shroom for us. And that's it. Three dead cards in hand. I don't know what they are. Hopefully it's not Mustache Monument Trickster. He's got one health left. Come on, Perica. <gasps> Brain Anna's gonna clutch it. Brain Anna's gonna clutch it. Yeah. <laughs> don't don't mess this up, Fry. Doom Shroom. Die. Dumb soldier boy. Yes. Twelve brains. Twelve brains down the trash for the win. Let's go. Yeah. Beat stuff out of here. Yes. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. This deck is insane. What is going on today? This is the Bad Moon Rising deck. He got Undying Pharaoh, he just Doom Shroomed his ass, man. Honestly, the four rows clutched it. I don't think the deck was was good enough without the two walnut bowling, so no regrets. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, Walnut would have won there. Dragon basically would have won. Brainana was the was the bomb though. Brainana just ends the game on the spot. Perfect. Okay, so early I mean this is as good of a starting hand against dumb high roll early game infinity as you ever want, so. Go, con man. Okay. I'll take the cards. I'll I'll take the one turn to draw some answers here. Okay, so water balloons plus Oh, Hammer is good against Cavill. We really don't have, like, a great answer to Cavill. We have Shrinking Violet. But Hammer is the boss here against past turn one Infinity. It's probably a Cowboy deck. What kind of Infinity passes on turn one? Guys, look. It does three damage. <laughs> no, it doesn't. All right. That's our only recourse. That actually still does six damage to us. It's a really good card against, against this deck. See him. Man, if he plays a gravestone, I'm gonna be awfully confused as to what to do. I, I guess I'll bust it. I, I it could just be a jester, and I really <laughs> good. Let's just bust that grave. Probably not running too expensive gravestones. I don't know, man. Monkey pirate for the aggression. This deck is actually. The, the evolution of this deck, if you guys didn't get that from the intro, is that we started off with a deck called Shit Knight, which is the deck with no win condition. It just controls, and it did so well. We, in that stream, we were trying to get an opponent to concede, and no one ended up doing it. Snipers, who knows? Apparently, it does work. What the hell? Okay, I'm going to get rid of this. And I hope he doesn't have Cowboy now. We're kind of screwed against Cowboy at this point. That's okay. Actually, you could grape power. Well, anyway. We have a lot of heals. I love this. This I love. What is this gonna be? 
Last time it was... It was Monkus. I am going to believe in the... Well... I think the hot dates are going to be good enough at sucking things in, like... <clears throat> this is a little overkill if it ends up being line dancing zombie or surprise guard, so I think I'm just going to do that. It's Monkus. It's kind of overkill against Mungus too. This will die next turn after doing two damage. It's okay. We got the poppies. Oh, bro. See, now this is open to start playing hot dates. Gosh. Dude, chill. Chill, daddy. <laughs> it's a great buster. Love to see another one. So we'll check out what's in the box. Big one? Big one? Not a big one. And, uh, hopefully it does well. The environment would be good. Yeah. It's pretty safe. Dude! That wins! That's the game we lost. Where he just smoke bombs every turn. And plays Overshoot. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bruh! Come on, man! <laughs> we should... <laughs> okay. Alright. I Maybe I should have healed there to play around smoke bomb. I probably should have. It was kind of sad to heal, but... Probably would have won that game if had I. Alright, so we have our one loss for today. The answer is yes, a long time ago. So let's award... To the believers. Believers! Believers! I'm gonna discipline -y look for one more early game card, and we'll keep the poppies. The heal is real. Yeah, the bets are over. We can lose games now. So. That's kind of sad. Uh, so this is a really good answer. It actually wins a trade against Cheese Cutter. <laughs> yes! A finisher slash late game control card? I don't know. What, I don't really know what kind of card Soul Badge is. It's awkward. That's what it is. Oh, we'll just pass. There's nothing he can really do here. Did he actually roll a bunch of ones? That game, the the infinity. He was stealing a lot of blocks with the monkus. So I don't I don't remember what he was actually rolling. But... What are these cabinets? I'm just renting an Airbnb, so they're just the cabinets in the Airbnb. They're completely empty. They're actually full. Okay, I'm gonna vent a little bit about this Airbnb. They're full of clean linens and clean towels. That the owner of this Airbnb, I'm renting a pretty nice place for Mexico standards, and they won't let us use them. <laughs> it's like too much laundry. I'm staying in this Airbnb for a month, and they have all these clean, like they left me and my girlfriend two towels for a month. <laughs> I asked them and they gave me more, but it's little just little disconnect up in here with the Airbnb, you know? I sort of want to do these together. Ah. <laughs> nice try, though. <laughs> hmm. I wonder what gravestone it is. Wait, so that has... It has four health now. And if we do three, four. Yeah, Galactic Cactus answers that. Uh, I guess I pass. What is he doing? <laughs> But anyway, it's a little, I think it's good to get an Airbnb when you're renting. I prefer this to hotels, obviously. I, I feel like actually living in Mexico, not touring. But I think it's good to get one that the manager and the owner are the same person. Once you have some, the manager, the owner's one person, the manager trying to save the owner money, it throws off the balance in the force. Uh... I mean, he might remove this, though. <laughs> what do I do here? How do I do this play? I guess this is the safest play. It's fine. Should I remove this card? Believer... 
I'm not really worried about area 22. So this takes three and then takes one. Oh yeah, Mexico has a lot of people think Mexico. You just watch like Narcos, like these shows, and you think Mexico's a dangerous place. There's a lot of places, you know, that have dangerous spots, especially in the north of Mexico. But there's a lot of really safe places in Mexico. If you want to know what they are, just look it up on YouTube. But uh, especially if you get a, a house in like a gated community where you know there's a little literally a security guard here all the time, it's it's very safe. So we fruitcake that in hopes that that will work out next turn. <laughs> Still nine damage. No. <laughs> okay. Well, it's it's gonna be Brainana for the field clear. We're not gonna let him get away with his crap. We're definitely definitely gonna Brainana this. <laughs> Bye field. It's a five five brain save our entire life, Brainana. Really good. As good as you want. Too bad we couldn't exploit that a little harder, but we're fine. We've got a lot of cool cards coming up. We'll see once the opponent starts committing and stops holding their life for answers. We'll start hitting them with the cheese. Starfruit events, a lot of damage. Na -na 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 -na. No, again, there's a lot of play. People, Americans have a lot of misunderstandings about Mexico. There are genuinely not safe places to stay, but there's a lot of very, very safe places. The same way in America. What you're gonna? What if you're gonna rent an Airbnb in the in the ghetto in downtown Chicago? It's also a not safe place, you know, because it's Mexico. People are like, oh, no, no. Heat Secret Agent. This one too. What do we do with this play? I don't know. It's just like this. It's fine. No, 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 no. Bungie's a... Woo! Woo! Oh, oh yeah, it doesn't. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Woo! We are so protected. Oh. Looks like it's gonna be... <laughs> He's gonna play Zomba at one. Where is Dragon and Wall of Bowling? It would just one on the spot. I think we're gonna give him one of these. Since this man refuses. And yeah, we'll put this back here. Ah, yawn, yawn, yawn. Here. Come back. I love you. I love you, little cyborg. Da -da -da. No. Okay. I guess we'll just hot date that. Or something. This guy just passes, though. I mean, he's only got two cards. And he really has not had answers. I guess I'm gonna just start... I'm gonna start just launching. Gets a 6-1. Who cares? <laughs> it's called Pair Cup number 2. Is what it's called. La 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 la. It's like that. We could have starfruit there too. Kind of demolishing this guy. We got 20 health. <laughs> I think we're good, guys. What is he gonna do? He's got a bungee, good. We're doing like 14 damage to his face here. His lightning bolt superpowers that he gets on this block don't do a damn thing. He can evaporate for the soul patch for the save. I don't think any, no, nothing else is going to do here. Yeah, that does not do it. It's exactly 9 damage. Alright, guys. 
We lost to, I don't know, Infinity Smoke Bomb? <laughs> it was the Smoke Bomb deck. It's kind of cool, not gonna lie. This should have healed. Probably could have won that deck if I would have spam popping poppies on turn six, not gonna lie. I just went for the, I don't know, I didn't play around Smoke Bomb. My bad. All right, guys, I mean, absolute, absolute domination. Who the hell said, where's Tryhard? Who the hell said that control on plants doesn't work? This is a really, really legitimately good deck, man. We faced all kinds of opponents, and it kind of always felt like we had control of the game. It always felt like we just had answers every turn, and that is exactly the feeling you want to get when you're playing control. Absolutely amazing, amazing Beta Caratina deck, man. I mean, it's not... I don't know if this is as good as Countertron, but this actually, ma matchup-wise, when you're talking about pirates and talking about, you know, pets and different matchups that Countertron might not be as good into, or Mop, this will be Mop, this will be all those decks, man. We basically face Mop today with the Warlord. Anyway, guys, anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed. That was the Beta Caratina deck. I will see you in the next one. Peace. This is Fry.